Lottie Docks, our one-stop shop for all things Lottie related. It's our website to document the Lottie format. And we have broken this down into a couple of sections to make the introduction into the format as easy for you as possible. Over here, we will guide you through the basics of the format, uh, give you a brief tutorial of how it works with an example. And we also give you a couple of tools that makes interacting with these files a little bit easier so that you can debug them. So the first section on the guide is an introduction. So we have highlighted a couple of resources that you can refer to as well. And we have a basic example here, which is the bouncing ball animation. This particular animation is broken down in the guide below. Keep in mind that this is a very, very simple, simple animation. So we have how the top level of the JSON file is structured. We guide you through how the layers are structured and the layer transforms, which essentially dictate the movement, as well as the shapes, which represent the, um, the graphics that are visible on the screen, as well as the fills, the colors, and the and finally the animation itself going deeper into it we introduce some general concepts of the json file format how various values in it are represented for example how boolean values colors and gradients appear in the json file we've broken them down we also give you some interactive examples for example here you can see how a gradient value is represented and you can also see what happens when you enable or disable the alpha values and how that representation changes. This applies to other parts of this uh, document as well. For example, if you go into details about how shapes are represented, you will see the key values, what they mean, what they represent, what are the valid values, that can be contained in it, as well as interactive examples of how changing these values translate to different behaviors in the Lottie format. And you can also see these changes reflected in the JSON below, like so. For example, if you change the roundness value and come back here, you'll see the values here have changed. The specifically the R value for this has changed. So it's 113 right now. If we go back, change it further, you come back and you'll see that this value has changed as well. Similarly, we guide you through layer effects, enumeration, texts, expressions, and so on. We break down everything we know about the format and give you interactive examples where possible. So you can play around with it and it'll help you understand a little bit better. And we've also included a playground section. And one of the most useful tools here is the JSON editor, which is basically a JSON editor as the name self describes. So you can actually drag and drop a Lottie JSON into it. It'll preview it for you and also let you apply some prettify functions and give you some helpful tips, translations of what exactly is happening. You can highlight these and it'll show you what they represent. You can also check out whether changing certain values, it will happen in real time. For example, if you change the width here it's to 450, let's say, and you can see what happens to the animation over there. It broke it, obviously, but yeah. We also have tools here where you can preview Lottie features and it's also very useful to debug any issues. For example, if there are particular um, values missing, it'll show up over here and then tell you what the error ag actually is. So these are validations that are run in real time against the JSON schema, which is also shared over here. 
uh, which you can use for lot of JSON validations as well as code generation as well. This is pretty much a complete schema definition for the format. Um, we also give you some tips if you're writing a player or you want to understand how the lottery is gets rendered on screen or how each function gets rendered on screen and where the nuances of those some pseudocode here on how to render those animations and lastly we also have a section on advanced interactions where we break down how you can use html css and JavaScript to interact with the Lottie um, animations on your page and how to inject expressions into them and how to expand the capabilities of the Lottie web player. Uh, so we give you examples of the JSON, the HTML that contains it, as well as the script that's been used to render it or manipulate it and a preview of the final result. For example, if you want to go down um, a little bit further here, you can see some of these will interact with uh, DOM events like mouse overs, and you can see how this is accomplished. The script for that is over here. We've actually used all of these techniques to build a demonstration, which is a fully playable port of Doom, which is hosted at Lottie files, um, Lottie.games. As you can see, the, this is a single Lottie and we're using the concepts from advanced um, interactions, the guide as we shared before. And if you click on this, you will see that this is actually a fully playable, fully interactive port of Doom. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.